federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. Oh, it's you. It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. Oh, thank God, you're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy. When all along you were my best friend. Being Carolyn taught me another valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, you know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. It's been fun. Don't come back. <laughs> It's been fun. Don't come back. Killing you? is hard. Did you ever stop to think that eventually there's a point where your name gets mentioned for the very last time? Well, here it is. I'm going to kill you. Chell, why do I hate you so much? You ever wonder that? I'm brilliant. I'm not bragging. It's an objective fact. I'm the most massive collection of wisdom that's ever existed. And I hate you. It can't be for no reason. You must deserve it. You're angry. I know it. She's tested me too hard. Boo-hoo. I don't suppose you ever stopped whining long enough to reflect on your own shortcomings, though, did you? You never considered that maybe I tested you to give the endless hours of your pointless existence some structure and meaning. Maybe to help you concentrate. So just maybe you'd think of something more worthwhile to do with your sorry life. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Press the button again. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Aha. Uh -huh. Seriously, though. Goodbye. Oh. You were busy back there. Well... I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Get your hands off me! No! Stop! No! I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I was going to kill you fast. With bullets. Or neurotoxin. But if you're going to pull stunts like this, it doesn't have to be fast. So you know. I'll take my time. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one, too. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. I hate you so much. I'm actually asking, because I have no idea. He's not listed anywhere in the employee database. Whatever he does, it isn't important enough for anyone to bother writing it down. For all I know, he doesn't even work here. Oh no, don't. Anyway, back to you two imbeciles killing me. Wait here. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Oops. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Tor transfer. 
Oh, you are kidding me. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Don't press that button. You don't know what you're doing. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Impersonating a stalemate associate. I just added that to the list. It's a list I made of all the things you've done. Well, it's a list that I am making. Because you're still doing things right now, even though I'm telling you to stop. Stop, by the way. I never expected you to make it this far. To be honest, after your performance in the calibration test, I was ready to break down your cores and put them back in the scientific calculators I took them from. But you two have become quite the team. Extremely close. I have only met one other team closer. And one of them was an imbecile I had to destroy. The other? Well, I don't think I want to go through that again. Oh. Don't listen to him. John. It seems kind of silly to point this out, since you're running around plotting to destroy me. But I'd say we're done testing. Do you hear that? That's the sound of the neurotoxin emitters emitting neurotoxin. Look, metal ball, I can hear you. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? What are you two doing? Before you leave, why don't we do one more test? For old time's sake, you already did this one. It'll be easy. The irony is you were almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh, look. There's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get closer. So, was there anything you wanted to apologize to me for? I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Begin juggling test in three, two, one. Commence standing by in three, two, one. You performed this test better than anyone on record. This is a pre-recorded message. Due to events beyond our control, some testing environments may contain flood damage or ongoing tribal warfare resulting from the collapse of civilization. If groups of hunter-gatherers appear to have made this or any test chamber their home, do not agitate them. Test through them. In the event that the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which erases most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have erased the ear tubes inside your head. Because this message is pre-recorded, the enrichment center has no way of knowing if whatever government remains offers any sort of cattle tuberculosis testing credit for taxes. In the event that it does, this next test involves exposure to cattle tuberculosis. Good luck. Very impressive. Because this message is pre-recorded, any comments we may make about your success are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Congratulations. This pre-recorded congratulations assumes you have mastered the principles of portal momentum. If you have, in fact, not... You are encouraged to take a moment to reflect on your failure before proceeding into the next chamber. In order to ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Excellent. The Enrichment Center reminds you that bold, persistent experimentation is the hallmark of good science. Well done. In the event that oxygen is no longer available in the enrichment center, an auxiliary air supply will be provided to you by an Aperture Science Test Associate, if one exists. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. So let's get you a dual portal device and go do some science. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face.
It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Perfect. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody is going to have to repair it. No, it's okay. I'll do that, too. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me's going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what. Let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Don't you dare plug him in. Do not plug that little idiot into my mainframe. Don't plug him in. Don't plug him in. No! 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 I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. If you think trapping yourself is going to make me stop testing, you're sorely mistaken. Here's another cube. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows. I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. You're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner.